Hi guys, this is Shelby from Learn Thai with Shelby, and welcome to my channel. Shut up! All right, guys. So you might think, uh, I might come to the wrong place. Today I have a special guest. So, as you guys know, that I don't really bring random people to this channel because people are here for my content, right? Definitely, always. Oh, because of my pretty face. What do you think? <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> so do you know why it has to be you on my channel? The first person ever, probably the only one and the last one because I... The last one? <laughs> really? <laughs> do you see my post that I posted on some groups in Chiang Mai that was looking for a British guy and I'm um, um, sloppy seconds. I'm um, left over. That... Nobody takes me. Oh no. <laughs> well, I also have a YouTube channel <laughs> and I might have more subscribers than you. Yeah, so that's why you. <laughs> it has to be a guy with a 15 million views. Yeah. <laughs> How many views now? It's it's over 15 million views, but it's, it's one video. I'm not in it and it's... <laughs> You know, any video with me in it doesn't eclipse that and, and gets bombed with dislikes. So <laughs> it's not a it's not a reflection of who I am. I was just at the right place at the right time, and and I'm a frequent YouTube video watcher. I'm a big fan of the platform, and you know, willing to support other creators on the platform. Yeah. So who is this guy? My name is Matt. Uh, Pu uh, Thai, Pu Thai, Thai. Pu Thai, Thai. Thai, แมนทําอะไรที่นี่เป็นคนโปรแกรมเมอร์ครับผมทํางานออนไลน์ที่ที่บ้านครับคนโปรแกรมเมอร์ครับผมพูดโทรอยู่ดิสพูดโทรอย
ภูเก็ตหรือสมุยนะสมุยเออแล้วคนที่สมุยบอกว่าพูดพูดเหมือนคนพูดอีสานแล้วใช่ผมได้ได้บางครั้งที่ผมมีซ้ำเนียงแบบแบบอีสานเคยมีแฟนเก่ามาจากอีสานด้วยอ no you fine my ex even worse worse yeah yeah he speak like อีสานเอออีสานที่พูด speak ไทยตัวเราอ่ะไม่ชอบนะเวลาฝรั่งพูดพูดไทยเก่งเกินไปพูดชัดเออพูดชัดแต่น่ากลัวพูดชัด in your experience you know what's the reaction been when you you can speak Thai or you know Uh, it depends. If it's just he knows basic words like สวัสดีครับขอบคุณครับ that's fine. It's cute. Yeah. น่ารักน่ารักดีฝรั่งพูดได้แค่นั้นแต่แบบถ้ามาแบบชัดเลยโอ้ antalai ละ antalai. So I have only three questions before getting to know someone and. If he if he's Thai, it's too good. It's like next, next. <laughs> And that's fine. And แล้วแต่มันแล้วแต่มันแล้วแต่แล้วแต่อะไรแล้วแต่เบ้าหน้ารู้จักเบ้าหน้าไหม It depends on your face. So if you're hot, <laughs> yeah. If well, you, you know, if, speak if Thai fluently, it goes through attraction like... <laughs> can be difficult. You know, it's it, you can't control the ta- attraction. If you're already attracted, you're already in trouble, anyways. So, you know, it's not the Thai and speaking it. She she might, you know, be on her guard more, but that's not necessarily going to hurt your chances. <clears throat> that's my opinion, anyways. She's going to be more on her guard. She's going to make sure. She's maybe going to call you Jiao Shu, but uh, you know, you just gotta stick to your guns and and show what you're about, and. Uh, You know, if don't let that stop you from trying to learn Thai or learning a, a second or third language. มีแฟนคนไทยช่วยให้พูดภาษาไทยดีขึ้นไหม Uh, it depends. If your girlfriend doesn't speak, พูดตอบถามไทยก็ตอบไทยชายหรือไม่ใช่มันอย่างนั้น I don't know. It's medium. It's not. It, it doesn't. It doesn't help you. Man, man. แล้วแต่เออแล้วแต่อะไรแล้วแต่ถ้าแฟนเออพูดอังกฤษได้ถ้าคุยกันในภาษาอังกฤษมันไม่พัฒนาภาษาภาษาไทยไม่ได้แต่ว่าถ้าแฟนพูดอังกฤษไม่ได้มันมันดีจะจะเรียนเร็วมากเลยอ่ามันมันให้ช่วยหน่อยถ้ามีคนที่ translate พูดภาษาอังกฤษ anyways if you have somebody to translate at your disposal at any time and if you're actively trying to learn Thai uh, having a, a a Thai girlfriend will help in that instance but other than that I know many guys that are married 10 years and still can't speak Thai at all so it, it won't do the legwork for you you still have to work towards it Does having a foreign boyfriend uh, uh, help you with learning English? A little bit, like maybe five or ten percent. Yeah. I would say. That makes sense. Because not every farm that there are native speakers. Yeah, yeah. Well, they they say that the number one language in the world is bad English. So <laughs> it's true. More people speaking bad English than, than no, good but, English. No, but all of my exes, they are not English speakers, but their English is pretty well, and they don't have like their accent hmm. from the their mother tongue. Yeah, my but, my original language is French, actually. I don't really have a. I might have a Canadian accent, but I don't have a French accent. Oh, thank God. <laughs> People are gonna hate me from this video. Yeah, well, you know, it <laughs> just indicates you had something in the past, maybe uh, some particular person. No, no, um, it helps, but it's not. And one thing that most people think, oh, you speak English because you have a boyfriend, like, 
No, you have to be able to speak first. Yeah. Now I'm I'm guilty of this, you know. If a girl can speak too much English, you know, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, where, where did this all come from, yo? Like, you know, you like the, the foreign culture a bit too much? Like, you know, I, I like to, to venture off in unexplored lands and I don't, uh, but you know, that's, that's a... It just seems a plus to go to. Yeah, yeah, if you, if you can speak too much Thai, you're like, okay. Oh. How did this happen? I don't like that. I was like, even though, next. even though, you know, she said that ten percent of her English came from relationships. I mean, I would, I would say about the same. You know, five to ten percent, maybe you know, a good fifteen percent, depending on what constitutes a relationship. You know, that that could tip the scales a little bit more. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's about a lifestyle and, and keep trying in, in everyday situations like going to the market, going to the store and, and you know, the romantic context isn't always enough. So I would, I would mark it about the same degree, same percentage. But relationships can be difficult if you don't speak Thai and there's not an effective communication. So it's, I didn't learn, I did learn Thai to, well, just la learning languages just in general is a fun activity. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I like to learn new languages and, and be able to communicate. Like I hate not knowing, so. But, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't say that women were a big motivating factor, at least, in getting better at Thai. So when you <coughs> actually into a relationship with Thai girls, do you speak Thai or English? Or both? So, you know, I've limited experience in, in relationships, uh, but typically, you know, the what, the, you know, the one relationship I could think of, she was fluid in English. And I think that relationships are easier when either my Thai is really fluent or her English is very fluent. Because there's a lot of, culture and understanding and things to to communicate effectively it's really important to you know culture that bond that that fosters you know love and uh but you know it's not impossible in a relationship where you know somebody where she doesn't speak english and you don't speak thai it's just you both have to work for it and really forge your way to it it's like two of you are, you know, at the other ends of the jungle and you guys have to create that that bond between you guys and, and you guys yeah. gotta you gotta cross that. You gotta you gotta meet e each other in, in somewhere, maybe in the middle, that'd be preferable, but you know, it's not always like that. But uh, you know, and you guys are forming new experiences together and you might not have a lot in common because of the cultural differences and that's fine but you need to be able to understand where she, she's coming from and she needs to understand where you're coming from as well that's why relationship sucks it can be difficult yes and communication is key and make sure that you run by if you're about to send that message and you've got a lot of tie in there make sure you vet it uh with you know a fluent a thai person or whatever or someone fluent with whatever language you're trying to speak because i guarantee you those subtleties will get you in trouble and get the relationship in trouble you know there's misunderstandings all the time in okay. relationships that are in english with other english speaking people so magnify that tenfold when you have a, a relationship with someone that speaks English and speaks Thai. So be very careful with what you say. Think about it two, three times and make sure that you fully understand what you're saying. It reminds me of that guy that <coughs> I ran away at Why Not. Do you remember him? At Why Not? You ran away from him? Yeah. So he, he was trying to speak Thai on the first day. Can you imagine on the first day? Um, he said, 
คุณไม่ปกติ but I knew that he was trying to say คุณไม่ธรรมดาธรรมดา yeah so that's kind of so she up. she kind of he he just said you're an unusual girl คุณไม่ปกติ it's more like you are weird in yeah, a bad way unusual unusual yeah. weird uh, so he was right <laughs> yeah he's right <laughs> Yeah, guys. So that's it for a uh, Thai girl and a foreign guy who has been living here for a really, really long time. About three years. <laughs> and I've been dating so many Thai girls. So. Out me like that in public, Jesus! The nerve on you! What's your experience has been with Thai women or foreign men? Let us know in the comments. I should do your job. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Bye. I have to cut this out. It's embarrassing. Oh, embarrassing <laughs> for you, maybe. It makes me look great. <laughs> what is Say the word? English. It's a lot. The, the word for get goods. <coughs> because when you try to translate, you try. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's. What are you looking at the whole time? I was just looking at the center, I guess. นั่งดีๆ